Welcome, to the Corp Vault channel, in this video we will discuss, Oracle backup options using, Com Vault version 11 console. Please, like, share, comment or suggest, subscribe for more videos, and, you can follow us on Instagram. In our other video, we discussed Oracle backup configuration. Let's discuss the backup options available, using Com Cell console. Right click on the sub client. Select backup. Backup options for sub client. Select backup type. Full. Specifies the job as a full backup. For Oracle it is, level 0, backup. Incremental. Specifies the job as an incremental backup. Ideally, it backs up only changes since the last full backup. For Oracle, select Oracle incremental level. Valid values are from 1 to 4. Cumulative. When not selected, the system performs a non-cumulative backup. When selected, the system performs cumulative incremental backup, at level 1 to 4. Status of SID, displays the state of the Oracle database. Ideally it should show open. The other status that you can see are, open, mounted, started or shut down. Refresh helps display the most current status of the database. Script Preview When clicked, displays the backup script, based on the selected backup options, and these that will be submitted to our man, when backups are performed. This information is helpful for, Oracle DB Admin. Job Initiation You can run the job immediately, or, schedule it as needed. Click Configure to specify the schedule details. Click Advanced. To select Advanced Backup, Archive Options. Startup tab. Priority. Is the job priority. For which you can use default priority, of 161. Or, change the priority of a job between 0, highest priority, and 999, lowest priority. Startup in suspended state. Helps to start the job in the job controller, in a suspended state. Please note that this job cannot run, until the job is manually resumed. Job read write tab. Enable total running time. Is the maximum elapsed time, in hours and minutes, from the time that the job is started. When the specified maximum elapsed time is reached, if the job is in the running state, it will continue. But if the job is not in the running state, then the job manager will kill the job. Kill running jobs when total running time expires. This option will kill the job, when the specified total running time has elapsed, even if its state is running. Number of resubmits on job failure. Is the number of times, the job manager will attempt to resubmit a failed job, with a new job ID. After the maximum number of resubmit attempts has been reached, if the job still fails, the job manager will stop resubmitting the job. Enable number of retries, is the number of times, that job manager will attempt to restart the job, before killing it. Do note that this job based setting will not be valid, if restartability has been turned off in the job management settings. Media tab. Start new media. This option starts the backup on a new media, ignoring the available appendable media on tape library. For disk library it creates a new volume folder. Media full on success. Once the job completes successfully, this option marks media full, two minutes after the completion of the backup operation. If any jobs are initiated within the two minutes, they are allowed to write to the media. Allow other schedule to use media set. Allows jobs that are part of a schedule policy or schedule, and using the same storage policy, to start a new media, and also prevent other jobs from writing to the set of media. Example. When one scheduled job initiates several jobs, and you only want to start new media on the first job. Job retention. Storage policy default. Applies the retention rules of the associated storage policy, which is the default option. Infinite. To retain this job indefinitely. For n days. Prunes the job after the specified number of days. 
make sure that the value you specify is greater than the storage policy. Retention applicable on the copies in the storage policy, that is, the primary storage policy copy, or all of the storage policy copies in the storage policy, or select copies. Select the copies from the list of copies that appear below. Data Path tab. If you want the backup to run via a specific media agent and library other than the default one, then select the desired one from the list. Vault Tracking tab helps to export tape media using Vault Tracker. Export media after job finishes. When selected, the media used by the backup and whose status meet the selected media status criteria are exported and tracked by the Vault Tracker feature. Exclude media not copied. When selected, media with jobs that have not been copied onto the secondary copies are not exported. Media status helps to pick the media with appropriate status, that is, all media, full media, active media, bad media, and overwrite protected, whose status is marked as read only. Export location select a location from the list of stationary locations. Track Transit. To track the transit information, you can select a transit location from the available list. Use Virtual Mail Slots. When selected, exported media is moved to the virtual mail slots within the library. Filter Media by Retention. Specifies that media are exported based on whether the media have extended retention jobs or not. The retention specified at the storage policy copy level are honored, and not the manually retained ones. Media with extended retention jobs. Specifies that media with extended retention job are exported. Media with no extended retention jobs. Specifies that media with no extended retention jobs are exported. Oracle Options tab. The backup will continue until the number of database block corruptions reaches the following threshold. Max DB block corruption threshold specifies the maximum number of database block corruptions a backup process can encounter before stopping. Enable RMAN disk ratio. When this option is selected, RMAN reads data files across disks and groups them in a backup set. Number of disks specifies the number of disks from which data files are included in each backup set. Backup tag. You can enter a character string that will be used as the Oracle tag argument associated with the backup operation. Backup control file for creating standby database. Specifies that the control file is to be backed up for creating standby databases. Custom RMAN script tab. Use this window to edit and save the RMAN scripts. Customize script. Select this option to enable, view, and customize the RMAN script. Data tab. Displays the RMAN script for data backup. Edit the script as needed, if required. Logs tab. Displays the RMAN script for logs backup. Edit the script as needed, if required. Update script. Click this button to replace the customized ARM and script with the script generated from the selected console options. Backup Archive Logs tab. Backup Archive Log. When selected, archive logs are backed up according to the criteria as specified below. Older than X days specifies whether to back up archive logs older than the specified number of days. Not older than X days specifies whether to back up archive logs that are not older than the specified number of days. Not backed up X times specifies to back up the archive logs that have not been backed up for at least X number of times. By log time specifies whether to back up the logs based on the time they were created. Start time and end time specify the time range when the logs were created as the criteria for archive logs to be backed up. By log sequence number, you can specify whether to back up archive logs according to the specified range of log sequence numbers, LSN. Use the start LSN, and, or, end LSN fields to specify the range of LSNs used 
as the criteria for archive logs to be backed up. By system change number, specifies whether to back up archive logs, according to the specified range of system change numbers, SCN. Use the start SCN, AND, OR, AND SCN fields, to specify the range of SCNs, used as the criteria for archive logs to be backed up. Like, is whether to back up archive logs, that match the specified string pattern, or partial string pattern. Note that when you select this option, and leave the field blank, all the archive logs from the selected destinations get backed up. All, is to back up one copy of all archive logs, from any destination randomly, regardless of any criteria. Select archive log destinations. When all is selected, this option is not available. It is used to specify the destination, from where the archive logs will be backed up. Use the add, delete options to manage the locations. Please note, few options specified here, if selected, overrides the destination provided, in the select archive log destinations, within the sub-client properties, logs backup, tab. Delete archive logs tab. Delete archive log. When selected you receive the warning, that archive logs are deleted according to the criteria, as specified below. Read the message carefully, and then select, yes, or no. In the enter confirmation test window, type confirm, to continue. All the other criteria options are same as the ones, we discussed in backup archive logs tab. Alert tab. You can configure alert for this sub-client. Use alert window to view, add, modify, disable, and delete alert. Save as script. Allows you to save this operation, and the selected options as a script file, in XML format. The script can later be executed, from the command line interface, using Q operation execute command. When you save an operation as a script, each option in the dialog will have a corresponding XML parameter in the script file. When executing the script, you can modify the value for any of these XML parameters. We will end this video here. In our next video we will try cover, Oracle Rack configuration. Subscribe to our channel for more videos, if not already done so. Do subscribe for more videos. Thank you.